Hey there, today we are going over the Raven R10. Um, it's got to be actually one of our most popular crossbows in the shop here. We, we sell quite a bit of them um, with good reason too. I mean, they're absolutely reliable. They're simple, easy to use, uh, easy to set up, put together. Um, and then usually when I set them up uh, in, the, in the shop here, it takes me about three shots to get them sighted in at 20. So um, out of the box, they're pretty close. Um, like I said, three shots, I'm within 20, and then obviously you got to go out, shoot 50, get that dialed, and then go back to 20 and get that sighted, and then all your crosshairs uh, in your scope will be lined up. So, yeah, we sell an absolute ton of them. It's, it's just such a, it's such a great crossbow um, for under, you know, 13, 1400 bucks. You're getting a lot. I mean, it's a very fast crossbow shooting 400 feet per second. We'll actually go over it and um, I'll, I'll chronograph it and see what, what it actually shoots out of the box. And if you guys do like the Raven R10 crossbow, we actually do have a package deal on our website right now, farmsteadoutdoors.com. Comes with the three bolts and we're throwing in the free soft case. So I'll leave a link in the description down below. You guys can check that out if you're interested. We'd love for you guys to check that out and support our small business here at Farmstead Outdoors. All right, so we're gonna go over some specs real quick before we dive into it. So the Raven shoots 400 feet per second. Um, it's, it weighs at 6.8 pounds, uh, axle axle, six inches when it's fully cocked and the overall length of the crossbow is 33 inches. I had just a couple quick specs for you guys. Usually guys are interested in that. So Raven R10, this is our number one selling crossbow in the shop here, uh, for good reason. Like I said, it's, uh, it's super reliable. Nothing really goes wrong. The only time I see there's an issue is if someone drops it out of their tree or uh, shoots the tree next to them if they're not aware of you know where their limb position is which is another thing you do have to be conscious about that it's not a gun um, the limbs do go out when you shoot so <clears throat> you got to be aware of your surroundings you know don't lean it up against a tree and then shoot and then Usually when that happens, one side blows out and uh, you, you got a mess. So you don't want to do that. So you have your crank handle up here. It's stored real nice spot there. Your quiver right here. Take some effort, push the button right here, and then it comes off. Super simple there. So how we get this thing cocked up, there is a button back in here right there so you push on that button put your crank handle on here push the button in put a little pressure on and then you you just keep your thumb on the button then this rolls down and it clips on you want to hear it click you want to hear that snap and click onto the string you want that full engagement there <clears throat> then just a matter of cranking it on up Till it stops clicking. Uh, there is a built-in uh, clutch in this handle, so you can't overcrank or break it. So then you got it fully cocked up like this, and you're ready to rock. So we gotta get that bolt in. <clears throat> so how this works, you wanna do your odd vein down. I've had a couple guys mess this up and they do the odd vein up. Do not do the odd vein up. You will shoot your roller rest right off the right off the crossbow and um those aren't cheap those aren't cheap so then we're going to go through the cage here and then it's going to snap onto the string you're going to hear it and feel that click it takes a little bit of pressure so especially when they're brand new when the strings you know are just getting kind of worn in a little bit take some pressure to snap that on there so that's the number one reason why the crossbow will not fire is because it's not fully engaged on the string. So please just give it some muscle and snap it on and you'll be good to go. All right, so now we're ready to go. I'm going to give it a shot and then we're actually going to see what we get for speed with the uh, Garmin chronograph here. Your safety is going to be right here. It's real short, real quiet, real good. All right, we'll give it a shot and see what we get here for speed. All right, 409, 409 on the dot. That's awesome. Um, 
I'm gonna give it another shot and see what we get for the speed. So we'll push the button in, a little pressure on the handle, and that should go down. Then you want to fully clip it on to the string there. You'll hear it click, be good. We cranked it till it stopped clicking. Now we know we're all the way back. Grab our bolt, odd vein, white vein down. Put it through the cage here and snap it on. All right, give it another shot. See what we get for speed. Four oh eight point seven. Yeah. Four oh nine. That's pretty good. That's it. It's pretty simple. So if you guys like this, um, we do have this available on our website, farmsetoutdoors.com with the free soft case. I'll leave a link in the description below. Check that out. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, you should probably check out that video right there. <laughs>